Good day flight simmers. We're going to be taking a look at the Savage Cub. A uh, very easy plane to fly, probably the easiest in Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, works really well, doesn't seem to have any bug issues with this plane. We're going to be flying out of Buttonville Municipal Airport, which is a small airport about 29 kilometers north of, east of Toronto. And it's used for small aircraft and training flights. So this is the type of plane you might find there. Um, the uh, airport code, I'll type in here. It's going to be Charlie Yankee Kilo Zulu. And there it is right there. So we're going to take off uh, over here somewhere in parking. And this, I believe, is runway 33. So we'll set that as our departure. And we're just going to do a training flight with this plane at this location. So I'm going to hit fly. They do have one um, localizer frequency runway for ILS landings here. It's runway 15. And uh, the localizer is 111. Desma 10 megahertz if you want to try and fly there and do an ILS landing at any time. Now this plane uh, does not have um, that capability but it's mainly for short flights and a visual flight or instrument flight rules type of plane. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the plane in the airport where we are and um, how to start this plane. So here we are at Buttonville Airport. There's runway 33. We're going to be parked over here somewhere. Here we are. Okay. So we're ready to fly. So first thing I'm going to do because of where we're at is get a pushback. Press shift P on your keyboard. Push this thing back. We can take a look at around at where we are. Now that I believe is runway 33 or 33 down there. Okay, so. I am going to stop the pushback by pressing shift P. Okay, so now let's go inside the plane, have a look at what we have here. Control 1 will give us a close-up look. So we've got a vertical speed indicator, our altitude indicator, and our altimeter calibration. Now uh, you can press um, B on your keyboard and it will automatically adjust it. So I'll show you. I'll just change it and then press B again and you see it reset it to the proper barometric pressure. So be on your keyboard. Uh, airspeed gauge here. We've got our RPM gauge, tachometer, oil pressure, oil temperature, and cylinder head temperature gauge. Uh, here we've got a compass and here's our calm. You'll see um, I've got this automatically set up in the settings to be handled by a artificial intelligence, the co-pilot. So I'm not worrying about setting the comm for communications. Uh, we have a choke. Hot air entry. We have the master avionics switch. Landing lights. Strobe lights. Magneto. Starter. Uh, ignition. Here's our brakes down here. And I'll press on my brakes, make sure they're working okay, test them. And here's our throttle, just test the throttle. You want it on idle. Down here we've got our pitch trim. And here we have our flaps. You really don't need flaps for takeoff with this plane, I find. It just lifts off all on its own, but I'll put them down a little bit anyway. If I think of it when we're on the runway. So let's start the plane. First thing I want to do is make sure the throttle's on idle. 
all the way back. Pull out the choke. You can let a little hot air in if we want. Okay, so I'll put the strobe light on. Put the avionics master switch on. Now keep your uh, brakes on. Turn on the magneto. And we'll start this thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is throttle up and get the tachometer up to about 400 RPMs. Make sure everything's working fine. Push the choke in. Okay, look outside here. So this thing's going to take off right away as soon as you release the brake. So you want to make sure you're ready for that. I'm just going to brake a little bit, cut and throttle back. Let's get around that plane there. We'll head on down to runway 33. A little fuel truck here. Hopefully it doesn't back up into us. So like I said, you're not going to need to use your yoke very much for steering. Just leave it alone once it starts going straight because it'll wobble. I'm just cutting back the uh, throttle there. Okay. So we're just going to do a big loop around and come back and land here. Alrighty. I'm just going to line myself up. Put the brake on. Traffic, Savage, Cub 107 taking off runway tree tree departing straight out. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just going to give it gently increase the throttle. Tail should lift off. And then the plane will actually lift off all on its own. You can see it's swerving there. I'm trying just to not manhandle it too much. Okay, it lifts off. And put the flaps up. Go inside the plane and have a look. So that you don't get a super great view out through the window, but you can see the plane just flies beautifully. It's um, you really got to be careful you actually don't get into overspeed because uh, it's a light aircraft and this engine will definitely uh, create good lift. So we're going up very easily. It's not struggling at all going up all by itself and not doing anything. So let's take a look around at Buttonville Airport. There we go, we just took off from the runway. Approach Savage Cup 107 is type Savage SAVG 1 miles northwest of Buttonville 1200 feet. Request flight following. Savage Cup 107 approach. Squawk 6526. Squawk 6526 Savage Cup 107. Savage Cup 107 radar contact 1 mile northwest of Buttonville 1500 feet. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2. Roger Savage Cup 107. Approach Savage Cup 107. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Savage Cup 107 approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie airspace Savage Cup 107. Okay, so I'm going to fly a uh, downwind leg here, do a base leg, and come around and land again. So you'll get an idea of uh, just how easy this plane is to land as well. It does tend to bounce a little bit on landing. I'm going to try and do front wheel landing there. And then bring the tail down gently. Let's see if I can 
see out the window. Yep, there we go. Give you a view from that side. So I'm just using my joystick, uh, the top button on the joystick, to take a look around. Get in a better position here to see where we're going. So, that's about high enough, 2,500 feet. So once again, you can press B on your keyboard just to make sure your barometric pressure is accurate. Okay, so I'm going to start descending now. Get her down to at least 2,000. Watch your airspeed and see how quickly it went up there. So with these gauges on the outside, I can kind of see everything that's going on. So you can turn that on in your settings. Okay, so very shortly I can do the base leg and then the final approach. Okay, so I'm going to select runway 33. Buttonville traffic Savage Cup 107 tree miles south 1700 feet inbound to land runway tree tree. Buttonville traffic Savage Cup 107 is on downwind runway tree tree. Traffic Savage Cup 107 is on base runway tree tree. Watching my speed here, that I don't get too slow. Traffic Savage Cup 107 is on final runway tree tree to land. So start descending, pushing down on the yoke, cutting back on the throttle. Put the flaps down. So I just want to get my altitude down a little bit more and watch my speed. It doesn't get too high. And let's have a look out through the front here. Okay, my speed is 53 knots right now. That's good. You want it nice and slow for your landing.
So I'm just going to try and level it out here and just let it come down nice and easy. It's a nice long runway, so I don't have to worry. You see what I mean about the balancing, though? It does tend to balance and swerve. Alright, I could have done better, but uh, not too bad. I find uh, once you land, um, it, it tends to want to go swerve very easily. So I'm going to bring up the flaps now. We'll go over and shut her down. So I hope you got a few pointers here on how to start it up and fly it and do a takeoff and landing on this really fun little plane to fly. So if you want to do some sightseeing around some of the really interesting places in um, Microsoft Flight Sim, you'll find that this is a great plane to do that. Very easy to handle. and not difficult to fly. I'm just going to go over here and park and shut her down. Alrighty. Okay, let's go inside and back off. So we'll got it idle all the way back on the throttle. Turn the, that off and these two. And then you can turn your ignition off as well. Okay, thank you very much for joining me on the flight. I hope you learned something uh, useful, and catch you next time.